You here to join the fire department? Head on in! Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete. Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! Ah! Well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your training. What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet! Sorry, I, I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not... Toys! They are not to be played with! Follow me over here. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola! He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake. All right, Pete, is it? This is wonderful. <laughs> First of all, we'd better get you looking like a fire officer, hadn't we, huh? <laughs> there is a shiny new uniform in the middle garage. If you can get the door open. I guess I just pulled this lever? Yeah, that would have been too easy. Looks like someone forgot to finish painting that garage door. That garage door would look a lot better with a lick of paint. You look as bright as a button. <laughs> okay, we're going to start things out nice and easy. Oh no, look! A raging inferno has erupted. Oh, if only... That's great! Well done! You will be an asset to us, as there have been an unusual amount of fires of late. Although, most of the recent fires have been burning down properties of small-time criminals. Well done! Wait a minute! That door is shut. <gasps> oh, and an innocent valve handle is trapped behind it. Oh, and look here. Yeah. A fire axe. Do you think you could somehow use this axe to get through that door? Don't worry, you won't get into trouble. Here's Petey. <laughs> oh, well, aren't you big and strong? Good. Oh, great heavens! Look! One of your soon-to-be comrades has accidentally turned their hose pressure up too high. But who could help him? Who might have some kind of... valve? Yes, do you see where I'm going with this? Some kind of valve to lower the pressure. 
Ooh. All right, you lasted ages. That's gotta be a record. Uh, muy bien. You made short work of that, didn't you? Let us go to the next area, shall we? What excitement could await us in there? Open the gates. Oh, no! Look! Several of your co-workers are trapped on that building! Am I not the most excellent actor? <laughs> now, tell these other officers which way to carry the trampoline so you can catch your stranded friends. Go right! Get ready! Yay! Ha-ha! <laughs> excellent catch! Keep going right! Left! Good work! Hey! Got him! Go left! Wait there! Woohoo! Nicely done! Left up, stop! Geronimo! And that is the last one! Well done! Now that they are safely down, we can put out those fires up there. But they are too far and too ferocious for your own extinguisher. But not for these. Yes! They are impressive, are they not? Say hello to my massive friends. Hop on to one of them. Excellent! The water cannon can squirt a lot higher than your extinguisher can. That's half of them! Aren't you, Officer Awesome? And there you go! That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, quickly! A most urgent situation has arisen! What is it? Oh, you're acting again, aren't you? Yes. Our station mascot, Admiral Pom Pom Moggins III, has become trapped on a ledge. You want me to rescue a cat? Oh, yes. Now you will truly learn what it is to be a fire officer in Lego City. To rescue cats is our highest calling. Because they're usually on top of buildings. But first, you will need some way to get up to him. Hmm? Fill the ladder! Go on! I hope my training's almost finished. I still gotta get to the fireboat. Then, once Vinny's got the boat, I can follow him to Rex. Hurry! It's almost time for Admiral Pom Pom's nap! Is this why there was a stinky fish in the pocket of my uniform? Yes! Also, in case you get hungry. Yuck! Oh. from our previous mascot, Commander Claus. And believe me, Commander Claus earned his name. He was quite the contract negotiator.
saved him! Okay, well, we're all done here. I'll see you inside for the chief's birthday party. There's lots of food! Wow! They've done this place up really nice. Huh. Maybe if we did the same for Dunby's birthday, he wouldn't be such a grumpy pants. Hey, Chasey, how you settling into your new job? Good, but I'm gonna have to get the fire chief out of his office so I can open the door to the boathouse. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, kid. The last person who disappointed me bought the farm, you know? You mean? Yeah, even after I told him it was a terrible investment. Anyway, don't sweat the fire chief thing. You'll figure it out, kid. Everybody has a weakness. No good. I can't beat it. The heads keep spinning and I can't aim my extinguisher straight. I had the exact same problem, which is kind of worrying, seeing as we're meant to be firefighters. You know, Chief Burns is such a party pooper. Yeah, just because we got him the wrong kind of cake. And blew out the candle before him. And opened some of his presents. And congratulated him on his 50th birthday, when he's only 40. And got him a Mother's Day card instead of a birthday one and got his name wrong on it. I mean, what's wrong with that? He is so touchy. You gotta aim for their mouths, but only when they're facing you. Hey, you did it! Oh, well done, man. That is outstanding. What's going on out there? You people better not be enjoying yourself on my birthday. I better not see anyone smiling down there. Right, I guess I'm done with work for today. I should have brought a book with me. thought being a firefighter would involve so much paperwork. Not me. There are like a hundred different forms just for rescuing cats. I know. Speaking of which, do you have a 37B? It's the one for short-haired tabby cats up an oak tree. Sorry, we're all out. I've got one for a long-haired green-eyed Persian with a foul temper on top of a traffic signal if you like. Nah. Time to find this boat and sail it away. Ha <laughs> ha. 
place. Over here. Over here, Chase. How did you guys get in here? Oh, uh, we swam. He swam. I used the back door because I'm not a simpleton. Oh, man. I just went through basic training to get in here. And it's a good thing you did, because we're stuck on this side of the fence. Uh, yeah. And we can't open that big door to get the boat out of here. Leave it to me. <sighs> like we have a choice. Aw, I like him. The boss said you should get on the water cannon. Joystick does. Don't know. Try moving it. Move! It don't do nothing. See? Stuff, Chasey. Nah, it was nothing. I want you to know you're my go-to guy now. I really trust you. Aw, thanks, Vinny. And now I can finally get that private buyer off my case. <laughs> Time to arrange a meeting. I'll be in touch afterwards. All I need to do is follow you to Rex Fury. What could go wrong? I told you I'd trust you to find my dad, Chase. Don't you trust me? What? I, I'm kinda... Look, I know you've got cops keeping tabs on me. You do? I mean, what? I haven't arranged anything like that. I have somewhere I need to go, Natalia. Don't pretend, Chase. I'm at the hospital, and I can see them watching me from across the road. What do they look like? Uh, well... Really smartly dressed for cops, 
They're wearing black suits, and they're standing by an unmarked black van and a limousine. They're not cops, are they? I don't think so. And now they're coming towards the hospital. Chase? Yes? Help! Natalia? Natalia? Really? This again?